We are talking mining the yellow metal in Greenland. Sorry, I couldn't help but talk about the contrasting colors. Uh, joining me now is Elder Olison. He's the founder and CEO of AEX Gold, a gold exploration company focused in Greenland. I was excited to talk to you because I think I've covered most jurisdictions, but Greenland has not been on my list. Tell us about gold mine. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me, Jenna. That's brilliant. Um, I mean, we started this company, what, three years back? And gold, there has been one active gold mine in Greenland called Nalnak that we know we acquired it back in 2014. We've now uh, merged three different companies together to make one listed gold company in Greenland. We're the only one. Um, it's on a gold trend that goes all the way from Newfoundland through Greenland up to uh, Sweden and Finland. And we kind of are, are, are building up a portfolio of a brownfield asset and a, and, a, and a early stage exploration. So let's talk about that because in this you know trend of mergers and acquisitions we've seen emerging, especially in 2018. Do you think that we're going to see more uh, you know once active mines come to the forefront again? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think one of what this business needs is more M and A's. I think for the from the perspective, you want to build a good management team. Uh, to be able to uh, support more than one mine at its own. First of all, for risk uh, uh, risk perspective, that you can then actually you don't have single mine risk focus. And secondly, you want to be able to create enough cash flow in your junior mining company to be able to support your exploration in the wider region. So I think it's quite important for junior explorers not to have something that is a near-term uh, producing asset and then to still land bank and find earlier state exploration for the bigger companies too. So it was a once active mine, so yeah. what's the restart like? Because you're an exploration company, yeah. how far out are you? How long does it take to restart a once active project? Right, so in this project itself, so this used to produce about 350,000 ounces at a diluted grade of 15.4 gram per ton, so extremely high grade, okay? Um, they stopped it in 2014. What we have been doing since is to find the structure where the, this is a vein deposit, uh, where it continues one kilometer distance, and then we need to drill that structure. So we are looking at maybe two years to restart the mine. Uh, we want to start some testing of that production maybe in the next next year and, and the year after, and then go fully fully operational in, in, in within two years time period. So why was it stopped in 2014? Um, I think as many of the other companies they had some balance sheets issue, they didn't do enough exploration while they're doing, which we all cleaned up, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So Elder, when you're making you know when you're presenting to investors, you're making the case for Greenland. Um, you know what, what's what's the pitch there for, right. for this jurisdiction? Well first of all Greenland is a a very mining friendly jurisdiction okay it's they just uh, well just they 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 created the new mining code uh, back in 2000 right so in the cycle from 2002 up to 2010 there was about one and a half billion dollars spent in greenland and they found some really interesting deposits likes of ours and others right so in zinc in uh, iron ore in, in in titanium now and others so what, right now, what we're trying to merge into produce, get these mines or these deposits into production. So if you look at Fraser Institute and others, this is uh, one of these uh, jurisdictions that has the most kind of a uh, uh, friendly atmosphere towards mining, as you can find. Well, it's just fascinating to me. And you know, you mentioned offline like Nico looking to Sweden. So do you think that this is the future where mining companies might stop looking at the riskier jurisdictions? Uh, and look more to places like Iceland, like Greenland, like Sweden. I think absolutely. I think like for I think people have now understood that you can deal with things like uh, a juris a jurisdiction that are a little bit remote or cold, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What is difficult to do deal with is you know if you have corruption, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And partly that's due to there are anti-bribery laws now in place, both in London and the new market, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And also, it's just something that is very hard to predict and understand. And this is what the experience has taught us. And then, secondly, you look at Agnigo uh, in Nunavut and others. These have been really successful projects. So we think this is actually the place to be and, and focus on. What's the climate like right now in Greenland? Well, just out of curiosity, I've, I haven't been there. So, so could you paint the picture for yeah, us? Yeah, I mean it's hard. Greenland is one of the largest island in the world, right? So we. Being from Iceland, we d we know how it is to be cold, right? Yeah. And being from Canada, I can understand how it is to be cold. So I understand. No, my, my point is, so we are in the southern tip of Greenland. So you have we are basically on the same latitude as Oslo and Helsinki. So there's ice free all year round. It's actually where Greenland gets its name from. 
So Iceland, you know, the Norwegian, from I Norway to Iceland, Iceland, Greenland, Greenland, Newfoundland, this is the route that the Viking went. And this is where Greenland gets its name from, where we are based at the moment. So, so you did a big capital raise this summer, two and a half million. What's the next step for you, short term? Short term, we want to uh, raise uh, uh, enough capital to go in underground exploration and then mining uh, next year. Uh, we want to uh, uh, continue our exploration in our exploration assets. Uh, both in Vargan and Tartuk, and so we would be marketing the company now for the next few months. Elder, thank you for my education on Greenland today. Who would have thunk it? Gold in Greenland. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thanks for watching. We'll have more for you on Kitco.com.